the one, the only DeAndre Nook Hopkins. Uh, he is our overall wide receiver 20. I have him at wide receiver 16 overall. Alex KROG, the hater, sip of that hater aid, has him down at wide receiver 24, uh, which does not make a one lick of sense. Um, DeAndre Hopkins is going to finish as a middle middle to high end wide receiver two. Uh, I actually had him a little bit higher than this. Kind of had to knock him down just a, a, sh- a smidge. Um, really, really, really pumped about the D Hop signing to Tennessee. He will be the outright wide receiver one. It is all gas, no breaks in Tennessee this season. Everybody's on one year deals. You know they they will pass the guard next season and next year they will rebuild. Sands Derrick Henry and Sands Tanny, but for one year and one year only, come get you some DeAndre Hopkins. And I don't want to hear, I do not want to hear an argument based on his age. The dude's thirty one. He was the number one ranked receiver in separation last season. He had the largest cushions when targeted of anybody in the league. The guy can still separate. He can still be wide the hell open for Ryan Tannehill. He's going to freaking produce. Krogh, come on. T- give me the haterade. Let's, let's hear it. He's 31, Jason. Oh, my God. Is We're he? going to start there. He is. He's been around <laughs> since age 21, 2013. What were you doing in 2013, Jason? Uh, in 2013, I had just gotten my first full-time job, Sands College. All right. Games played in those years, 16, 16, 16, 16, 15, 16, 15, 16, and then the last few years, 10 and 9, suspended due to during, doing steroids, trying to... Uh, keep his body right, get it right, get it tight. And he got caught. Uh, so the last two years, 10 and nine, he's playing with a better quarterback in Kyler Murray. I know you're the official, unofficial, official, uh, thrill ride, uh, leader, but are we sure Tannehill's playing? Are are we sure it's not Will Levis? Are we sure it's not? Yes. The quarterback they drafted who they're probably Willis. Yes. Yeah. He's probably, probably not gonna be on the team. I, just don't see how this is an upgrade. They're not going to throw it to him when they get to the goal line because they're just going to turn around and give it to Derrick Henry every play because that's or what they do. Or maybe they will fake it to him and D-Hop will have one guy guarding him. Probably not. Uh, also, Tannehill likes to rush the ball in at the goal line, um, which, which is factually accurate. I just don't understand how an offense that many are projecting to be relatively anemic – All of a sudden, you sign a 31-year-old wide receiver who hasn't had more than 717 yards the last two years, and he's going to be a high-end wide receiver, too. Nope. Not going to happen. If you take it... It's just just not going to happen. If you take A.J. Brown's numbers in his three years at Tennessee, okay... Okay, A.J. Brown was 10 years younger than, than Hopkins. It's the same offense, and he was an electric wide receiver one. If you take A.J. Brown's numbers in you three sure years in Tennessee. You're not Traylon Burks at the, at the wide receiver one spot after he played there all year last year? And extrapolate them to an 18-game eight game season. We're talking 130, 140 targets, 12, 12 1,300 yards. Under. Double-digit touchdowns. Under. There's no chance. You don't think there's, there's li- literally no chance. Man. You think he's going to have 140 targets, 1,200 yards, and I 10 said touchdowns? if you extrapolate A.J. Brown's numbers in Tennessee to 18 games, that's what you get. I did not say that's what I think D-Hop will get because A.J. Brown did not have Traylon Burks on the team. Okay. Do I think that they will be that good? T- Tannehill's still having nightmares from throwing all those picks in the 
in the playoffs a couple years ago. He doesn't even know who he is. All right. So then, I mean, what do you give me? I mean, will you give me a thousand yards? Sure. So you you think he'll go over a thousand yards, or you will say the under? Uh, I think he'll finish right between a thousand and, and eleven hundred yards. Okay, and then I'll do eleven hundred. Okay, I will take the under. What about targets? One, um, under one twenty. Deal. Okay. Touchdowns. Your call. Would you do? Would you do eight and a half? Sure. Great. Yeah, I, I just don't. I mean, if you're going to tell me that he's going to have eight touchdowns, 10, 75 yards, okay. But not more than that. His ADP. I know you're kind of, kind of nitpicking here. Yeah, ADP is wrong, though. That That's not current. His ADP is at the turn of the fourth or fifth rounds. It's going to go up. Like, you're going to have to get him probably – I bet it goes up around. Like I bet he's in the third. Yeah. Rightfully so, because he's a stud. It's too high. We'll we'll revisit this as we get more information. But uh, I hey. hope he drops thirty in the first week. I mean, that would probably get me off to a bad start. <clears throat> but he's not going to. Okay. DeAndre Hopkins, just awesome. Really happy for him. Really happy for the Titans, Titans fans everywhere. I am really excited to see D-Hop. Welcome back to the AFC I mean, South. Did, I, I don't know if anybody remembers uh, the Chris Olave conversation we just had about 15 minutes ago where Jason said the way that you win fantasy leagues is by drafting the up-and-comer second or third-year wide receiver. And now he's all in on DeAndre Hopkins. Just, just I just want to throw that out there for the listeners, just to the, make sure that they remember what we talked about 15 minutes ago. Diversity is the spice of life, baby. You gotta, you, you gotta get the old heads when everybody's hating on them and they pop off again. DeAndre Hopkins, when healthy, literally last season was the best separator of any receiver in the entire National Football League. Like, give me D-Hop, please. Yes. 